So for the last couple of days, I've been watching as the Helldivers fans are absolutely celebrating one community manager being fired. But I don't think it's the right one. Now, hold on. Before everybody floods the comment section, what do you mean it's not right? All the community, blah, blah, blah. I, look, shut up and listen to the video for once. Other than listening to the first 15 seconds of my video and writing comments, Maybe watch the entire video before you spurg out on the internet. <laughs> I love you guys, though. You're awesome. But no, like, I've been watching, and it's only one community manager, and it's the one who told them to refund the game when they tried the Sony linking. And I've got some questions about that, too, because that's worded very weirdly by Sony. So if you haven't heard, one of the Discord community managers has been fired, apparently. He alludes to, okay, anyway, he alludes to being laid off, not working as a community manager anymore, still in the Discord, still being an absolute piece of garbage, while other all the other community managers that go on harassing people, making false claims of uh, illegal conduct against women, remain. So well, where's the one in this? Where's the one in this? But let's read the article, let's look at the tweets, let's look at the Discord messages, because... I think it all adds up to one thing. This has nothing to do with cleaning up the Discord. It has everything to do with somebody saying refund the game, which affects Sony's numbers, which is why I assume they said to fire the dude, but we'll, we'll get into it. So here we go. In the Helldivers 2 Discord, Spitz or Spitzer FX no longer has a community manager badge, and he has a number of comments indicating he's no longer any kind of authority or leverage in the Discord. Which, if we're being honest, that's all Discord mods care about. Look at me, I'm popular. I have I have the ability to kick you. <laughs> yeah, they're all fucking weird. I don't even manage my own Discord. I hate it. And there's no well no, I take that back. One one of my friends has the moderator title just because if he wants to hang out, it's cool. As can be seen below, Spitz is no longer listed as the Discord Community Manager tab. It only includes Baskinator and Twin Beard, which, if you're not familiar with those two, they're the ones that accuse people of uh, assaulting women in an illegal way that would lock most people up in prison unless you're in New York or California. <laughs> and go on to talk about how they're trying to make everything trans, Jenga, and being absolute disgusting pieces of garbage i don't know youtube's been killing my videos for cussing so i'm trying to trying to tone that back just just a little bit furthermore spitz no longer has the community manager listed on his profile okay as you can see baskinator that pile of garbage not only does he no longer have the community manager role and he's the not listed in the community manager tab he has made numerous comments indicating he no longer has any authority in the discord i've Bet he is seething and molding and coping. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why all these people have some weird heart on for like, I'm a community manager on Discord. Cool. I bet you're a furry too. I bet you pre-ordered Starfield. As for he, why he got fired, generally it's not a good idea to tell people to refund and leave negative reviews when you're a community manager. Yes, that's exactly what it was. That the fans were mad at what Sony was forcing on everybody. So he was like, we'll just refund the game and leave. I think that's actually a valid opinion. <laughs> hey, we're mad at this. We'll refund the game. Get your money back. It worked. <laughs> I think that's why he got fired. It worked. <laughs> he told people to refund the game because they didn't like what Sony was doing. And they did. So they fired the dude. But they also, you know, quit the Sony garbage. And in another comment, he wrote, I appreciate all the support, and I appreciate even more that everyone can play the game again without restrictions. I knew I was taking a risk with what I said about refunding and changing reviews. I stand by it. It was my job to represent the community. That is what I did. Taking the rest of the day off, not feeling super well. I love you all. Okay. So, yeah, they, they kept the community managers who said, shut up and suck the corporal dong, who frequently make false allegations against people who try to push the transgender narrative. Those people get to stay, but the dude who said, hey, this is, well, from my perspective, it looks like this dude said, hey, 
don't like it, refund the game. Get your money back. Hit them where it hurts, in their wallet. And that's what everybody did. But he gets fired. In one of the most recent comments, he did admit that he should have been more professional in his statements. I challenge anyone to be put in the position that the CMs or moderators have been in the last four hour, four days and not let a bit of attitude seep into their comments and statements. But I agree, more professional professionalism was needed in some of the things I said. It's Discord. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. At this point, I have to blame Arrowhead. I have to blame the game devs. They are allowing community managers to go absolutely insane with false allegations to attempt to destroy people online, push a political narrative, and that's all fine and dandy. But saying, hey, you guys didn't like it, I told you to refund it, they fired me, puts me more blame on the devs than anything. I don't, I, I know I've seen videos where like, oh, absolutely win, community manager fired. This isn't a win, guys. I mean, granted, community managers are the bane of gaming right now, but this isn't the win everybody's making it up to be. They fired the dude who essentially was talking like he's on our side of, hey, we don't like what Sony's doing. We're going to refund the game. Go ahead. Please do. Please refund the game. You're fired. But talk shit about everybody, make up lies about everybody, and you get to stay a community manager. Like, I, I, someone, please, like, make that make sense. Because it's it's not making sense in my head. Spitz has had previously belittled mod gamers in the Discord. Well, yeah, he's a community manager. He's not going to be a good person. He initially claimed that negative feedback would not change Sony's decision to require Steam players to connect their accounts to a PlayStation network. Sony did indeed reverse its decision. To be fair, we didn't, nobody actually thought they were going to do it. <laughs> like, nobody actually thought we were going to get a dub on that one. In another com comment, he wrote, it's not like this is the first or even the 14th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he wasn't writing Sony's nuts, so they fired him. That, that's what it sounds like to me. And another responded to a player who wrote, this will kill Helldivers 2 on Steam. Backpedal to lose your player base. He replied, I thought you were refunding and leaving. Which, actually, let's let Helldivers 2 Steam players. Oh, uh, Steam DB. Let, let's take a peek at that. Boys, the numbers are still the same. They still killed nearly 200,000 players. But it's okay, guys. It's, it's totally okay. <laughs> They're absolutely winning. This They did the right thing. <laughs> I said in the previous video, this is, the numbers are getting worse. Everybody's just sick of all the Helldivers drama. It could have been a good game. All right, so anyway, the rest of this is him going on, uh, Grums doing whatever bullshit, reiterating everything that everybody else shared, don't care. All right. So I don't care about the rest of that. We've read the tweets. Yeah, so I don't understand how all these other creators on YouTube are saying this is an absolute win. Community managers are getting fired. We're winning the war, guys, for democracy when it was just the one who didn't bend the knee for Sony and told people to refund, which is what people were doing already. He gets fired. Well, I'm assuming it's a he. But the community managers who are still causing all the problems that everybody's tweeting about, they're still there. So I failed to see how everybody's saying this is a win for us in our hell diving community when they're still doing the exact same shit and the same people are there. Am I missing something? Did somebody else get fired that nobody knows about? Maybe the tweets didn't make it to Grums and so nobody actually hears it. <laughs> Sorry. I got to shit on Grums a little bit. He spends way too much time on Discord and Twitter. <laughs> Even people I mildly agree with, I will tell them to touch grass. Shit, I tell everybody to touch grass. Anywho, digressing back to the topic. I don't see this as a win. Maybe somebody can explain something in the comment section to me. Maybe I'm missing something important. But put it in the comment section. Let me know while you're there. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this one out. Until the next one, guys. 
be easy like sleazy. 